Tonight, the CDC is walking back on its coronavirus guidance. Sunday night, it posted there is, quote, growing evidence that airborne particles can stay suspended and travel distances beyond six feet. Then today, they reversed course, saying updated info is still to come. Here, senior health correspondent Monica Robbins with what we really need to know about how this virus travels. We're still learning a lot about COVID-19, and we've said from the beginning that information will continually change as we get more evidence about this virus. But three things are certain. Wearing a mask, keeping your distance, and washing your hands is currently your best defense against the virus. Person-to-person -person contact is believed to be the most common way it spreads, but can you get it through the air? Certainly is possible that when somebody is coughing and I walk through the air that they have coughed in, that I can get that I can get exposed to those droplets. Here's another thing we know about COVID-19. On average, one person could spread the virus to two to three others. Compare that to measles, which can hang in the air for about two hours. One person can infect 12 or more. So while it's likely we'd have far more COVID cases if it spread mainly through the air, it doesn't mean it can't. Even if you're socially distancing from somebody else and they're continually coughing, and you don't have any way to get good ventilation to move that air out of your way, it's ultimately, it makes sense that you're ultimately gonna get in contact with those droplets. So it may not be the main way the virus is transmitted, but the potential for airborne transmission can't be dismissed, which is why you don't wanna walk face first into an infectious cough or sneeze without a mask. And as the weather cools down and we're indoors more, those basic prevention methods can protect you from all sorts of viruses, including COVID. Monica Robbins, 3 News.